Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video of mine. So in this video, we are going to talk about the psychological effects uh, when we apply the visa, particularly the PR visa and moving to a new country. So moving to a new country is all exciting and challenging and it can have a profound, you know, impact on one's uh, mental and emotional well-being. So in this video, we'll take a closer look at some of the common psychological experiences which people have during this whole process. So if you are going through the same journey, which is the immigration journey as I am, then consider subscribing to my channel because I'll be posting a lot of videos relating to this stuff and you'll be in the loop. All right. So the first point is excitement and anticipation. So this whole process and moving to a new country can be filled with excitement and anticipation. This is a very big step indeed. And for many people, it is the start of a new adventure, right? So the excitement of exploring a new place, making new friends and experiencing different culture can be thrilling. The second point is anxiety and stress. Moving to a new country can also be stressful, particularly if it involves a significant change in lifestyle and culture. So dealing with this new set of rules and regulations, unfamiliar language to maybe some people and customs can be like really overwhelming and it's natural to feel anxious about this. And the third point is the cultural shock. So the cultural shock is a common experience for people moving to a new country. Uh, cultural shock is the feeling of basically disorientation and confusion that can occur when adapting to a new culture. So I think uh, many people are like familiar with this it's important to be aware that cultural shock is a normal part of this transition process and it will just pass on with time so the next point is homesickness leaving friends family and familiar surroundings can lead to feeling of homesickness and longing for what was left behind homesickness can be a difficult and a challenging thing to overcome but it's important to remember that it's a normal part of the process and it will, it will also just pass on with time the next point is isolation and loneliness. Starting over in a new place can be really lonely for some people, especially it is difficult to make new friends or connect with others. Isolation and loneliness can have a profound impact on a person's mental and emotional well-being, but there are always few ways to overcome these feelings. For example, reaching out to friends and family back home, joining some sort of club, you know, and or a community group or seeking help of a mental health professional are just few ways. And the final point here is to mention about the confusion and frustration. So dealing with a new set of rules and regulations, unfamiliar language to many of us and customs can be really confusing and frustrating. It's really important to seek support if needed. Having a support network, whether it is friends, family or sometimes a mental health professional can help you overcome these feelings of confusion and frustration. So in conclusion, moving to a new country is exciting and challenging, but it can have a profound impact on a person's mental and emotional well-being. But it doesn't mean that you shouldn't like try all these new things, new and exciting things. You can overcome all these negative feelings by being prepared for the common psychological experiences, you know, having a support network in place, which is like friends and family and also being patient. That is very important and you can successfully navigate this process and make the most of your new adventure. So that were a few things which I wanted to mention in this video. Hope you liked it. As usual, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.